Pisces. It's getting dark, so I'm trying to hurry up but be as accurate on, on everyone's reading as possible. So let's get into it. How you doing, space fish? Space fish. I wonder what a space fish tastes like. Like, do you catch it from the space? No, I don't believe that that's for you. What does it taste like, Pisces? Y'all be eating them space fish, and then you be like, people be like, how do you fish from the sky? And you just be like, I don't know, man, but it tastes good. And people be like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Pisces, of course you're having romantic issues <laughs> because you're Pisces. Pisces are the romantic sign. Did you know that, Pisces? Did you know that your sign is romantic? I bet you didn't know. Now you know. So how do you feel about that? Ah! Push me to the edge. Someone's space fish attack. My moon is in Pisces, so I can relate to your, you a little bit. So don't, someone been disliking these videos, and I'm like, dang, what, why, sis, or bro, whoever you are, why? You can comment why below. So, <laughs> your major arcana is the lover's card. It's that couple from uh, Majora's Mask and they're making out all the time. Oh, oh, oh. And you're like, what is happening? And all you see is like hearts coming from them and you're like, this is weird. So, um, <laughs> love is on the brain, Rihanna. Rihanna's a Pisces. So love is on the brain for you guys. You're really encapsulated by love by suitors by a suitor but i really feel like you are caught up in your mind specifically about love because how is the lover's card the only card here and honestly if you don't have no love life pisces which is hard to believe because you're a space fish but if you don't um, maybe there's a decision that has you trapped in your mind, okay? If you're dealing with love, you really got a crush on this person and they seem perfect. With the Knight of Cups, they seem so emotionally mature and they seem like they got it all. And you're like, ooh, zaddy. <laughs> but <laughs> they might not. You don't really know yet. Don't get too excited. Um, or maybe like the person that you're with if you're in a relationship just seems really attractive if you're not in a relationship you just feel this month that you're emotionally mature and maybe you have an, a better idea of who you want your romantic partner to be because I really just feel like with the lover's car romance is the thing or maybe you just feel emotionally mature if we're looking at it in a traditional sense to make a decision about something, like a big decision, like you feel emotionally mature enough to make it. Ace of Wands, things are happening fast. Maybe that's why you feel like this guy, girl, whoever is really, woo! You having dreams about them because Pisces love to dream. I know, because I'll be in my mood, I'll be like, like Ashley, I'll be like, I'm dreaming. So maybe you feel that way. Eight of bottles, you are leaving what no longer serves you. You're leaving thoughts that no longer serve you. You're really breaking out of this energy, which is real good, of what no longer serves you so you can find love, harmony, or answer this great decision question that you have to answer. King of Sticks, you're ready to make this uh, bold action 
forward. So you're breaking from this bind and making a mature decision forward in love or just making some type of decision. But I feel like honestly it's an emotional decision. So it might be with a friend or family member. I really feel like this month is about love for you. And um, if you don't have anyone romantic around, I feel like maybe it deals with the people who love you. Love is a thing uh, this month for you to really think about who really loves me with the seven of bottles, who really loves me, who really cares about me, who do I keep and who do I let go of. So, um, hmm. Do you want to know who you need to let go of? Oops. Let's look. Let's look at, let's clarify this. Um, <clears throat> you might also be dealing with a Gemini, but, or a lot of water signs. Maybe you're just dealing with yourself because you're a water sign. Oh, <sighs> you got into a fight with someone maybe in the past, and you wonder if this person really cares about you. And you're really focusing on the people who make you happy overall. And you're wondering if this person will make you happy overall. Like, are they really, or maybe they just really don't have no permanence in your life. Nine of Pentacles. And you're deaf, maybe you fought with someone over money in the past. Maybe you're dealing with someone and, and the drama is about money. And it has you really trying to figure out if this person cares about you. If these people care about you. You know, it's hard because a lot of times I say like, just because someone gives you money doesn't mean that they care about you. But I don't think that someone who cares about you will put you in a financial bind either. Um, so that might be something to consider. I think that's really what's on your mind. Um, you know, you're trying to see this independent of money but then you understand how important it is when someone messes with your money and messes with your investments like maybe you invested in someone in the past you like loaned someone money and they didn't pay you back or something and they really left you in a bind um and, and i think that's an important thing to reflect on pisces okay you on your dame dash and you like, do I really need at least scamules, like, for real in my life? Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. You, um, you might be reconsidering someone again, because they look like they have a good financial future. Whether this be a friend, family member, lover. But I just feel like love is your main focus and you're, you're dreaming up what your love life could be. You're dreaming up <clears throat> what love looks like in your life, um, what love can do for you in your life. Um, and you're walking away from what no longer serves you. So I feel like this month you're doing a lot of emotional cleansing, which makes sense because we have a lot of eclipses and full moons this month, I believe. Um, it's a hard month, um, but I feel like you're doing a lot of emotional cleaning and there's a lot of water here. So you might be surrounded by a lot of water signs. Maybe you should go near some water this month and really meditate on love. Um, you know, talk to Yemaya. If you don't know who Yemaya is, I, I believe she is the Arisha of the ocean, the Arisha of of water relationships focus on your relationships and um you know try not to think about them in the physical sense but think about them all around i hope i didn't rant um and i hope that helped you pisces <laughs>